But you promised to take me to the prison and I... Not tonight. Somebody has to talk some sense into Rutgers. But I'm trying to save my friend. Me too. But I promised him. I gave him my word I'd be there. He's gonna die, and there's nothing you can do about it. <sighs> you should pray for your friend, Huey. That's all anyone can do for you. All right, Luke, the king and all the color folks die before What him. makes your God all any less made up than like his? big old dog chocolate soup. So hate the black within you. Vision? What do you know about my vision? My vision would turn your world upside down, tear us under your illusions, and send the sanctuary of your own ignorance crashing down around you. Now ask yourself, are you really ready to see that vision? The Tooth Fairy will be coming soon. The Tooth Fairy? Yep. Every time I lose a tooth, the Tooth Fairy takes it away and leaves a dollar under my pillow. There ain't no such thing as a Tooth Fairy. Then who's leaving the money? Probably your parents. They have both the cash and the access to your room. Why did they lie to me? Because the truth hurts, Jasmine. The world is a hard and lonely place, and nobody gets anything for free. And you want to know what else? One day, you and everyone you know is going to die. <laughs> I mean, everything we see is a false reality. It's like Big Brother, The Matrix, whatever you want to call it. While we're watching each other, they're watching us. All the time. What did you tell him? What's behind your back? Elijah Mohammed's How to Eat to Live. I knew it. Just what joy do you get out of trying to crush all of my dreams, Huey? Do you know how long I wanted to own my own restaurant? Three weeks at Sunday dinner. That was the first time you mentioned it. And you only started doing the stupid Sunday dinner thing because you saw Soul Food on cable. We're going to pause this for the benefit of all y'all who never saw Soul Food. Soul Food is a movie about a big, humongous black grandmother, aptly named Big Mama. Big Mama demonstrates her love by feeding herself and her offspring enormous amounts of pig lard. Then, get this, Big Mama's arteries are so clogged, they gotta amputate her arm. It was her leg. Right, okay, whatever, leg. Then, she dies of a heart attack. <laughs> or another stroke, or something. God called her home. And what does the family do after she dies? They get together for a Sunday dinner and eat the same food that just killed Big Mama. The same food! They didn't learn a lesson. Nobody went on a diet, and that's the end of the movie. What about the snacks for the two-hour bus ride? I got part of a Lunchable and half a bottle of Snapple. Oh, so you just want to drink the white man's poison, huh? I don't. High fructose corn syrup. Read about it. It'll kill you. Obi-Wan Kenobi said, Your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. It seems to be getting harder. Distinguishing reality from the illusions people make for us. Or from the ones we make for ourselves. I don't know. Maybe that's part of the plan. To make me think I'm crazy. So then, now that it looks like Obama is going to win. As a black African-American Negro, are you merely excited, or are you extremely excited that everything is going to change forever? Eh. Uh. <laughs>